Today we're going to talk a little bit about the cross-domain capabilities of an oscilloscope. This is things in the time domain and the frequency domain. Really important to people that have IoT designs or in the automotive market, where you might have a combination of RF and digital electronics working together hand in hand. What we've got here is a demonstration board and we're looking at a clock. It's a very typical clock that a lot of our customers use in their designs. So what we can show you here is a time domain capture of a clock that will look like a typical on and off pulse. But now if we were to turn on the spectrum view, we will be able to see in this case that the clock is not really a regular clock, but it's a clock that is spread over a frequency band. And with this uh, analysis, this is brought to us by a digital down converter that is included in the design of this instrument. And this allows us to analyze signals and look at their behavior over time, both in the time domain and the frequency domain. So here's a typical spectrum uh, control. Okay, and we are able to see in these um, typical uh, swept spectrum analyzer type of control. So we can see, set up the center frequency, we can set up the span, and we can set up the resolution bandwidth. And with these tools, we're able to fully characterize a time domain signal with frequency domain classical controls that the user understands. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to view some of the time varying information on the frequency domain content. We're going to do that by looking at uh, some of the RF versus time traces that we have. We have the ability to look at magnitude, frequency, or phase over time, and it's time correlated automatically with the time domain information. So today I'm actually interested in what the frequency content looks like as it's changing um, with the time varying uh, clock. So if I, if I zoom in on this a little bit, I can see that the modulation here how the frequency is changing is actually a triangle pattern. We call that triangle modulation. It's a very common modulation scheme for a spread spectrum clock. The cool thing here is um, you can see it wiggling around on the screen there. I want to stop that. And we have the ability to pipe that output of the DDC, the digital down converter, into our trigger system. So we can actually trigger on the RF uh, components here. And that effectively is how the frequency is changing over time. So if I just change the source from the analog input on channel one to the actual frequency versus time input, I can now trigger when the, when the uh, triangle modulation might stop or pause or fall apart for some period of time. When I do that, I can see here that that triangle modulation now went away for some period. Happens to be an artifact in this uh, clock design on this demo board. So the interesting part about these uh spectrum analysis is that um, we not only can see the behavior of the signal over frequency, but we can actually also look at the window in which it occurs. So as we approach the area where the frequency variation appears, we can see that the, the spectrum is changing. And we see the spectrum changing, well, because the behavior of frequency has changed. And this is one of the fundamental views in which you can analyze an entire time acquisition span that gives you the ability to look at the frequency domain one chunk at a time. This is so-called the spectrum window. With this type of analysis, now you have full 360 view of the time and frequency domain analysis of your signal. This not only applies to signals that are in the analog domain, but we can also utilize the power of the digital interface to include an embedded system. Now we can correlate embedded system uh, commands, so we can do digital buses with analog signals, with RF signals, and the combination of these three things gives the designer the tools that they need to fully characterize and understand what's going on in the design. And this is available on the four, five, and six series mixed signal oscilloscopes from Tektronix.